Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a list and search a list in Vue.js. What I mean is that I'm going to create a list and then I'm going to have an input box and a user is going to come and put some value into the input box. And then depending upon the value inside the input box, we're going to search a list uh, or I can say filter the list. Okay. We're going to find that value inside the list. So to get started, we're going to go to um, stackblitz.com. And here I'm going to select a, a random uh, view project. Let's say this one. Is it an occupied or a new one? Okay, I think this is from one of my old videos. Let me delete this section here. And let me delete these two imported components. Let me clear the components here. And let me also remove the styles. Let's keep the app styles. Let's type in something, yeah working okay so to create this uh, to 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 create a searchable list we need two things we need uh, some data in which on which we can perform a search and we need an input box in which a user is going to enter something and then we're going to search based on that so to do that what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create an input box here. Uh, this is going to have a type of, sorry, text, placeholder, search, OK. Let's give it a class also. Let's style it a little bit. Search input. Search input width of let's say 200 pixels and height also of, let's say 50 pixels. No, I think it's a lot. Let's say 30 pixels. Yeah. 30 looks good. Let's do a border a radius of 10 pixels. Uh, it's looking bad. Let's do 5 pixels. I think I think that's that that's fine. Or let's do like two. Okay, so this is our uh, search input. So let's let's bind it with the data. Let's do uh, data, and the data is gonna have the search value. So let's name the variable as search value, which is empty by default, and let's model the input. Um, with that search value v model equals to search value all right okay so this is modeled to check if it's working fine or not let's display the search value underneath the uh, input box let's type in something yeah, so it's working. Let's remove this. Let us create an array. An array is going to have users. The first user is going to have a name. Uh, let's say John age is 45. And another user is going to be Doe, 
I'm just using a random names. Age is gonna have thirty five and name Bassett. Age is gonna be twenty six. Name uh, Jason. Age is gonna be fifty five. So now uh, let's render a list uh, using the data we have. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through the items inside the users array. I'm going to create a div and in this div I'm going to have something like this a v4 users comma index in users let's name it a user because because i'm looping through users and every item is going to be a user and let's have a key and let's render the uh, users name all right so we are just rendering the uh, user's name. Let's have serials before them. Uh, to do that, let's do this index. Okay, index. Uh, the array index starts from zero. So let's increment it by one. So yeah, we have a list. Let's put a dot here. Okay, so we have a list. Let's put them inside a div. I'm doing this because I just want to push it down a little. I mean, I want them to be rendered a little below the input box. Users container margin top 12 or let's say 15 pixels it's gonna have a class of users container okay it's pushed down and let's just make it look good let's put this in a strong tag all right okay so now we have an input and we have a users list and we want to search uh, based on the name so if I put in BAS this list should be filtered and only one item uh, should be shown there okay so to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a computed property computed property and in the computed property I'm gonna say users uh, list this users list is going to return the users and if I copy this and paste it here nothing is going to happen it's still going to render the uh, uh, users all right so I had forgotten the uh, this keyword so it's going to render the same list but now if I uh, type anything here I should be able to filter the list so to do that I'm gonna say if search a uh, value dot trim so I'm gonna trim the empty spaces the trim uh, dot length is greater than zero then return an empty areas of now else return this dot users and this is going to be this dot search value so right now the search value uh, length of the search value variable is zero so it's not going to do anything but as soon as I start typing here it's going to react to the changes made to the search value variable look at this you see I entered one letter there and it reacted and now if I'm going to delete it it's going to react it react to that change again 
and return the users you see so now we have a potential here we can search based on the search value so what we can do is we can say return this dot uh, okay so now we need to filter so we need to filter the users array so we can set this dot users dot filter for each user if user dot name dot we're going to check for the substrings also includes this dot search value dot trim then okay so we're checking uh, we're looping to the users and we say if for each user if user dot name dot includes the value being entered here then return those items from the array okay we can save it we're going to say x it's not going to return anything if i say j h o n it's not returning anything uh what am i doing wrong here users oh it's users okay search value dot trim so all right the thing is that i forgot to uh lowercase before searching it so what i need to do is i need to lowercase the uh, user dot name first to make it case insensitive so the thing is that if user dot name dot to lowercase dot includes then i need to search it so if i if i exclude the to lowercase and then search uh, J H O N. It's not gonna return anything. But if I gonna if I'm gonna do uh, capital J, so it's gonna do the exact search. You know, H O N is gonna work. But J is not uh, anywhere inside the string. A lowercase J. I'm talking about the lowercase J. So that's why we have to uh, lowercase it first. Lowercase and then search so if i'm going to type in small j now it's still going to search it you see that's how it's working so it's b s it's capital b so capital b is not working so what's the reason behind it so if i'm searching like this i need to lowercase my search values also so it's going to be this dot search value dot trim uh, dot to lowercase so that both of them are lowercase and it's searching equally so let's do uh, bs now it's going to work and let's do capital bs it's going to work you see that's how you make use of computed properties to have a search functionality based on an input and you can do uh, a lot of things using this you can say uh, you can say if users list dot length is greater than zero or you can just say if users list dot length then uh, render this otherwise in the else part you can say no users found so now if i'm going to search with an l name a qa no users found i'm going to say j h o n n y let's say it's going to work like that see and to make it more uh, UX friendly you can say uh, no users found for this search 
I don't know. I think it looks good. Uh, for this search, search means what you searched, which means search value. Copy this, paste it here. So whatever you type in here comes in the search result. Let's say Harry. Okay. So that's it. So you can just beautify it a little and do stuff with it. So that's how it works. And what if you have a long list of users? Let's say uh, maybe 10,000 or 20,000 or 30K or more than that, then it's advised to search in the back end. But if that's the case and you want to search on the front end, then I suggest you to have uh, have uh, debouncing on the input. Debouncing means when you, when you keep on typing and stop typing for like, 500 milliseconds or like 300 milliseconds it then performs the search instead of searching on every key press so debouncing is a is another topic it's not in our in our video right now but it's just a suggestion that if you have very long running lists and you want to search in that list it's better to use the technique called debouncing on the input to make the search it performs better and it's advised Otherwise, uh, heavy and uh, data intensive searches are performed on the back end. Yeah, so that was it about the video. I hope you guys liked the video and it was to the point and short. I was trying to keep it short, but I don't know how much time has gone by right now. But yeah, that's how you uh, search a list based on a user's value, user's input value in the input box. Okay, so guys, share this video with your friends or or anybody you know who who's getting into coding or, or Vue.js or doing stuff like this. So it's going to help them and me also at the same time. And please drop me some suggestions for the videos. I'm not going with the flow like uh, dropping videos on what's a V4 loop or what's a V if thing or 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 doing this, these main core concepts of Vue.js. I'm just trying to do something productive by productive i mean um you know creating these videos in which i create something and show you guys how it's done in the real world and stuff like that so my video uh making i would say category is something else rather than going with the actual Vue.js based topics and stuff like that so in, if if we see in this video I covered uh, what view v if is, what is the v for, how you can render lists, how we can model the inputs with the uh, help of two-way data binding and stuff like that. How we can uh, loop through this, how we can handle conditions, what's a computed property because people out there have videos on these things. Like people out there have made like tons of videos on what's what's a computed property, what's data, what's how to two-way data bind stuff how for loops work what's the point of having a key in a list and what's v else what's v show what's v if so stuff this like is very mediocre and and it's already there and and there are a lot of videos out there but stuff like this is not that much available on the internet or i can say youtube um regarding a specific framework or language so i'm trying to do something different here so i hope you guys like what i'm doing or 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 you think i'm going in the right direction please let me know in the comment section and yeah have a good day bye bye